Alright, tomorrow is the first Thanksgiving since losing all my weight. Um, I thought I would show how it goes for me. What, what, do, I, what do I do? What are my choices that I'm going to make? And uh, maybe let you see a little bit what life is like for me in maintenance land um, on my first Thanksgiving. But I thought I'd let you see like how I approach my workouts, how I approach my the food choices that I make, how much I eat. Uh, my plan is in the morning I'm going to get up and run a 5K. Here in the area there's a leisurely one. One I haven't, uh, not time, just, just for fun. But it'll be good. It'll get my body moving. And um, right now it is 10.18. I'm exhausted. Um, I'm going to go to bed. And um, yeah, see you in the morning. Well, it's raining. I did not sleep good. I got a bit of a sore throat. Don't know what that's about. I am surprisingly still sore from the Tough Mudder. I want to get some exercise in. I just, I don't know, I felt so stale and stagnant not getting anything in this week other than one swim. Oh, I was really looking forward to this 5K. But I'm going to go caffeine up and see if that helps wake me up because I slept horribly last night. So tea, this is one of my absolute favorite things. I, I never drank tea, really. Not ever, not, not with any regularity. But once I started losing weight, I needed something to drink that didn't have a lot of calories in it, if any. And I was looking for stuff that had good flavor. And I realized, like, you know, I haven't ever really tried tea before. And um, so I picked up this one. This is one of the first ones I ever, I ever tried before. I didn't realize at the time it was seasonal or I couldn't get it all the time. So uh, now whenever I see it, I, I buy several boxes. And it's a good way to keep the calories down while enjoying a, a tasty beverage. This came out of necessity. It was something that happened a lot of my weight losses where I would look for alternative replacements to things I was already drinking. So instead of like diet sodas or something, which I was, not that those were preventing me from losing weight, they weren't. I was just trying to get to, I was not being so reliant and um, addicted to a particular food. And I recognized that I was fairly addicted to diet soda. And I wanted to see if I could get off of it. And I, I could, but part one of the things that helped was um, introducing tea into the mix. And then it sort of went away, but now it comes and goes. I drink it um, a lot during the winters, winter months, the cold months. And uh, let me tell you, on my sore, scratchy throat right now, oh, it feels so good. So I finally got my shoes all cleaned out from the race, uh, from the Tough Mudder this last weekend. But there's so much, I mean, I'm... I'm still getting dirt out of these things. Well, it's gloomy. I've run in much worse weather, so I will endure. Something I've been thinking about a lot lately is making the right decision in a moment. I used to be so caught up with goals and then I would, you know, the Stephen Covey, begin with the end in mind thing. And then I would work my way backwards from the goals. And I, you know, I want to be here, so what? let's work back. What are the six big steps going in reverse? And, you know, I always did well with that part, but the part I struggled with is not getting distracted by the steps beyond the next step. So, if, you know, if I got to take the first step, I sometimes and oftentimes I get so preoccupied with steps two, three, four, five that I never take step one because in my head I'm trying to accomplish the next five, the next five steps at once, which just feels overwhelming. 
So this year I've just been really, really focusing on just the next step in line and just putting faith in my future self that my future self will make the best choice. It's like, if I make the best choice I can now, I'll still be me in the future. Ergo, stands to reason the future me will also make a good choice. So, like, I'll, let's just take this morning as an example. I was in bed, really sore, thinking, I don't know if I want to get up and go on this race. I may be too sore, I may be too tired. Oh, now it's raining. And, but I told myself, I've got to get up. Like, I don't know if I'm going to go to the race or not, but I know if I stay in bed, I'm definitely not going to the race. And I'm not ready to make that decision yet. I'm not ready to decide no. So I've just, I just thought, I'll just get up. That's the next step. All I got to do is worry about getting up. I'll just reevaluate from there and see what happens. And so I got me a beverage and I'm feeling pretty good. And I'm like, well, once this hits me, I'll definitely be feeling good. So I might as well just drive to Craighead and I'll just see what happens. You know, the thing said rain or shine. So if they're gonna run in the rain, I can run in the rain. And, and I can always back out. Like at any point, I can still change my mind and quit. But by just taking this next step mentality, I've been covering so much more ground with things because I'm just actually moving. Because usually just the immediate next step doesn't seem overwhelming. It's only when I start thinking of the next five that it seems overwhelming. All right, I'm here. Looks like there's other people here too. So even though it's raining, it's happening. trails that's a great one but if you're not familiar you may want to do something that's a little bit easier mark or you can go to the paper you're hiding <laughs> there we go before and after yeah <laughs> see how exhausted i am afterwards I know, after I'm you about to pull. Go. <laughs> get it Is he going to run this fast the whole time? It's just his legs are so big! I know! I'm learning when you go on a journey, like changing your life, you got to find and pick up and revive and reinvent relationships in your life. You lose a few, I'm not gonna lie, that one sucks. But you reinvent so many relationships and turn them into something better. And you reignite old, long lost relationships. Some get weaker, some fall away. You know, cause some, it's hard to watch you change. They feel left behind. I know I felt that. People get more bitter, more angry. It's almost like my success was offensive to them. But I, I don't take it personal. I used to be that person too. And I felt left behind. No one wants to be left behind. My honest hope is that everybody that didn't follow along will catch up to me. All right, 3.75 miles, 40 minutes. Doing good. I'm feeling really comfortable right about now, which is good. This will put me at over four miles, so I think that's a great Thanksgiving day run crazy I didn't even want to get out of bed this morning I didn't think I was gonna run I thought I was too sore and too tired and yet here I am because I just took one step and another step 
And another. It's a good run. It's almost better than I thought it would run. Four point four five. I'm so funny. I wasn't gonna run. I'm laying in bed. I'm a serious. I'm so mad I didn't record it. I thought about getting my camera holding up, be like, I don't want to run. <laughs> I got a little bit of a runner's high, so. Um, yeah, I just crushed that workout, that run. It was so good. I feel so good, so happy with myself that I did this. I was dread, it was almost making me dread Thanksgiving when I was debating not getting up to run. Cause I was like, but then I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna feel a little guilty, not because I'm eating, but because I, I'm not sticking to my commitment to myself. I said I was gonna run, so I need to go run. <laughs> and if I'm gonna do that, I, you know, I. I can't pick and choose my commitments here. If I don't run, that changes the equation of my plan. And so, anyway, so I go, now that I've run, I'm like, all right, rest of Thanksgiving's on. I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna enjoy it. <sighs> all right, time to go shower. I want to go over nine of the most common reasons why runners aren't progressing, why runners aren't improving. Okay, I am changed and cleaned, ready to go hang out with family, and my sister has called and said that she needs Cool Whip, so now i got to make an emergency run to the store to get some Cool Whip. Let's go do that. So I have one of these good news, bad news situations. They're out of it, right? Uh, the good news is I'm here, and the bad news is the good news is I'm here, but the bad news is nothing is open anyway. Dang holidays! Oh, what's that smell? Oh, I might be oh, I made deviled eggs. Oh, that's what I'm smelling. So unfortunately, my house is gonna smell like two. Yeah, that's exactly what it's. Why do people eat that? But they're done. It's just while they're cooking, they smell like that. Mom, what is it? But now I'm making sweet potato casserole. So is this thing pretty cool? Super cool. How far have you run? I'm about to go down the hill. Good point. All right, so I think they're pretty comfy to run on. Okay, pyramids of Giza. Yeah, see what it is. It's a one mile walk. Look how big this freaking screen is. Isn't that cool? Oh, it ground. is a treadmill. It, does move. it is a treadmill. The ground does start moving. Very interactive. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's really cool. Not just like, hey Zeke. He's like, is this my better angle? He's like adjusting his head. Is this my good side? Did you get <laughs> you my good it? side? You, you getting it? it? Yes, yes. <laughs> I am so hungry. <laughs> That's the downside of a run. Running makes you hungry. So I'm going to go to two. Thanksgiving dinners. One at my sister-in-law's family. They're close family friends, so it's not weird. And then one with my family. So I'll see how I pace myself. It was hilarious. It was so funny. I mean, we just... Well, were you equally like the same day? Yeah. It was so funny. Yeah, I'm good to some of that. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's Oh, yeah. I didn't want it to go away. Mac and cheese. Oh, 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 Some of this chicken. So y'all, and you brought the chicken and rice. Yes. <laughs> I don't know whether you... Would you, I mean, well, it's, I know. It's, it has got Indian spices. So. No, I like it. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, cream cheese cupcakes in there. Round one successfully completed. Not bad. I am full. Not super full, but I'm full. And now I'm going to go have more Thanksgiving food because it is turkey day. Okay, now time for dinner number two. I'll make it some more mac and cheese.
And here I'm going to have more rolls. Why is it so quiet? Huh? Why is it so quiet? I don't know. Where is everybody? Downstairs. The Velveeta macaroni just showed up. I don't have another hand. Mac and cheese, mashed potato rolls. All the stuff I normally do not eat in large volumes in one sitting. So with my family, this seasoning called Cavenders. We, it's like the family seasoning, like we all love it, all of us kids. We put this on mac and cheese. And it is absolutely amazing. It's got a lot of sodium, but it's so good. Happy Thanksgiving. Alright. Thanksgiving's done. I, according to my watch, burned a thousand calories today. I feel pretty good. I'm just going to actually work on this and some other videos um, here for the night. And this is pretty much what I did last year. Like I just ate, I mean, and I felt sick. Like, not sick, I just, I definitely ate a lot. So one of the things I did is I made multiple trips. Um, I would take my plate, get some food, and then I would go back and get more. And then I would have some and then go back and get a little more. Um, I don't know if this caused me to eat more or less, but it's what I've done every year before and it seems to have worked fine chance you know honestly with all the food that i ate all these carbs i'm i look at it as it's like it's sort of a shame to waste all this energy uh so i'm probably going to feel pretty good in the morning and have plenty of in energy so i think i'm going to get up in the morning and go do a workout i'll either go to the gym or go for a run but something just to burn the calories because i'll be able to and um you know when we talk about compensating with diets, it's it's not that there's, I'm not punishing myself, and I think that's an important, there's an important distinction to be made between punishing yourself and taking ownership of your choices. If, if I chose not to work out tomorrow and just keep going like my normal plan, I don't think there would be anything wrong with that. But I also equally think there's nothing wrong with going, I've eaten more, so I'm going to see if I can increase my energy output. I think that's a very healthy thing. I think both of them are fine, to be, to be honest. Um, and it's a largely personal decision. And for me, when I eat this much food, I want to go offset it and I want to work it out. And I'm also training to run a 25K in January. So again, it'd be a shame not to use this energy, this fuel that I've taken in, which could also potentially help my training. Um, I had a great run today, so I should, you know, I, I think I'm fairly, I'm recovered enough from the Tough Mudder that I can get back out there and start training. Um... You know, I don't have to go incredibly hard, but I could go a little bit longer. So, all right, let's let's uh, let's get all this footage uploaded and share this day. <laughs>